Oh, Take we're it using easy the on the door. Let's try this instead. It's just gonna blow up Literally. everything. Yes. Why Take are we doing this? Up. We're gonna get. We're gonna get if caught so bad. The candle, we're gonna get caught so, so cool. bad. Get caught so bad. Get ready to haul ass. Get ready to turn into payday. Welcome to payday two, where you have to activate the heist and blow up. The oh snap! That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are close. I told you. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so oh what should we do? God. What should we do? We're going in that office. We ain't got time, but we're going in here. What's in here? All right, we we don't have a lot of time. What's what's in here? Is there nothing to view in here? Wait, can we hide? Can we hide? Hello? Hello? No? Oh, snap. I think they're we here. Need to figure this out. Yeah, I guess they I guess they arrived that fast. My god. All right, 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 all right
update at present time there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring kate marsh at a vortex club party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party see the attached files for complete details interesting was that in the last episode uh when they posted the link to the to the video on the on the mirror I went to go check and see if that was, like, actually a real website. Not in-game, like, actual on the real internet. And it's a real, it's a real website. Nothing's there, because it got taken down, but... The video got taken down, but... The website's real. If I could remember the name of it, I would tell you to go look at it, but... It's, it's a real website. The video was there. Only two more files to go. Two more files. What are we getting two files for? Wow, no, you can't use this those books. So not I knew handy. you were gonna say that. Um, what's this letter on the desk? Wait, what is this? You're not so tacky up close. Yeah, you mean he's so bronze? Um, that is this? so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. But did it though? <clears throat> As principal at Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty. Why? Why was that necessary? Oh, did he erase that? Is yeah, it is. Um, to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new installation system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It's not my policy to take sides in these matters as we encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasion of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope that they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition okay so it was actually useful when I found those cameras I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA mmm I don't know who that is so I'm not gonna even read that that's not Nathan so tumbleweeds tumbleweeds um what's in here what's in here Rachel doesn't More seem file. so troubled okay. based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Wait, what? Why, is, why can't I see her 4.0 GPA? Does that not have any relevance? Um, student information sheet. Rachel Dawn Amber. Uh, unfortunately, Rachel Amber has stopped attending class for the past month, and she's left no contact with her students or faculty for the past... Wait, her, with her... Wait, with students or faculty for the past month, I was right. Her parents are at the present unaware unaware of her whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for her quick return to continue her academic excellence. So you're not going to tell her parents that she's gone? Rachel Amber is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is the hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. This is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams with Blackwell as the fulcrum. President Wells, uh, or pr Principal Wells, not President. This is Lieutenant Chris Rossi. I don't know who that is unless you're talking about... Rossi from Criminal Minds, but nobody watches Criminal Minds anymore because it's such an old show, but it's still going on. Just wanted to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for uh, that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for your help. Okay. That was the police department. Man, um, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Wait, Chloe got expelled? Bad got Chloe. Expelled? Wait, can we take both of these files, or what's going on here? Um, Chloe got a 1.7 GPA, because she's just wrecked. Um, she looks different in that photo. What's going on there? Um, anyway... Clay Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to our teachers. 
She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Update, Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police reports. But I can't see those attached police reports. Okay. So did we take both files or? Let's no, nab this file. last file, Sherlock. Okay. Always wanted to say nab. Nah, you won't be saying nab when I'm done here. I'd drink too if I was the principal. Of but he did drink here because that's all he does. And he was like, and "Oh, you can't, you here. can't sneak by me. Go back in your room because I'll, I'll never know." Cause I'm so drunk. Can I move this? That looks like a like a hidden safe. All right, this isn't no kind of like. This isn't that secretive of an office. Wow, sir, this will so not come I in know, handy. No, it won't come in handy. Where's the last uh, the last file? Is the last file not the other's oh, files over here? I guess being a bully no, is in the Prescott that. DNA. Um, student files. Weird. This oh, asshole has a Nathan. spotless record. Nathan looks like a freak from his uh from his picture. He doesn't even have any information on there. Uh, student information sheet: Nathan Joshua Prescott, three point seven GPA. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar ac academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. They've like said I'm that like 50 times already. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Alright, let's read this personal file. Student information sheet. Maxine Caulfield. GPA is a 2.8, surprisingly. Brief summary. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she does, sh wait, no, she should be doing better. Her teachers back her up, <coughs> back up her quiet intelligence. I am messing up so badly. Um, though some, claim some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the, be the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off of the dormitory roof today. At this time, there is a ongoing police faculty investigation but max's heroism is undisputed okay this file is going to be so spotless i'll oh projectile God. vomit no man you can't just projectile vomit on top of this for one we're not even supposed to be here so that'd be really like disgusting and be like all right let's get out those files because i need to continue this case and it's like what is this what is this vomit is this is this vomit on my case who who came in here and vomited on my cases and they do like a DNA study and they find out that it's us. And it's a game over like at the very end of the game. Um, student Information Chief Victoria Maribeth Chase, GPA 3.9. Everybody has a better GPA than I do. Brief summary, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organiza organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Warren's dead. Uh... Student information sheet, Warren Graham, GPA 4.0. Everybody's destroying me with the GPAs, man. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence and science at Blackwell Academy. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing silent science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Miss Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Okay.
So I'm assuming I think that we found everything <laughs> there will be an update in I there should go if, join I, Chloe now. if I left that door blown open. Dude, I know you have shit to hide. What are you looking Max, for? Max, you better come check out these files. What files? Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. That is a bad Nathan sign. Nathan Prescott the They're both gonna gun us down. So money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher was complaints, that Gmail? secret That's probation. Gmail. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Whoa. Over and over. That's it. You what? That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know so he has something to do with Rachel. What the missing. next episode's gonna do? Whoa, do listen to this. The dark room. The David next M always the asks room, what's so. going on in my head. David M always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. The Super Jesus. Hebros. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, Super and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. Ouch. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, without we're gift, not what? taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, powers are best friendship. I know how you roll. We can't even get that chair out of here we without getting out We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Just some Holy guy. shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped. That's a lot There's of money. There's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. No, nah, man. I will Are shoot. you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself. I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. I don't know, man. I don't know. I want to say leave the money because I'm trying to avoid getting caught here. That's like, that's the main, you know, baby. That's the main, that's the main, the main point here. And if we steal the money, then... Well, Madsen's gonna come kill us. I, this this has already been confirmed. I don't need to keep saying this, but Mad, Madsen's gonna kill us sooner. How about that? If we leave the money, we have the possibility of not her not being able to play Frank, and Frank's gonna kill her, and then the episode's gonna end there. So we can't really do anything without being penalized, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna leave the money. I'd leave the money. You really want to take? We've already stole something platform? last episode. I'm not. I know I'm you not need to pay Frank back, episode. but <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash, but yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office, Morg. Uh, Chloe, you're gonna get me killed. What's that light? Where'd that no extra light come from? No one would have helped Chloe and me. 